Welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Karina Klein-Gable and I'm the Assistant Dean for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion for the College of Arts and Letters, located on the beautiful quad of JMU. Proud to host the most majors and minors dedicated to addressing topics of social justice, critical thinking, global topics, and languages, just to name a few. As you consider JMU as a prospective student, staff, or faculty member, we'd also like to introduce you to another very important part of the JMU experience, our local community. Welcome to Harrisonburg. Bienvenidos a nuestra comunidad. Although originally a farming area and later the focal point of poultry production, today Harrisonburg is a thriving small city located in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley region, centrally located two hours from Richmond, Virginia or Washington, D.C. Although Harrisonburg is a college town, it's primarily a home for our uniquely diverse population. With a city population of 52,000, the JMU student community makes up about 40%. So during the academic year, the town is bustling with college students. During the breaks, and towny summer as we call it, the city is still alive with families, young and old, from a wide range of backgrounds. In fact, the population in our city schools represents the most diverse student groups in our state. And our Latino Latinx communities make up 20% of our population. Overall, there are 57 languages spoken and 53 countries represented in our public schools which provides many opportunities for our JMU students and faculty to interact and work with a variety of cultural groups. And since there is no better way to get to know our community than to visit where we gather and eat, let's meet some of our small business owners. Hi, my name is Tisha McCoy in Tiamoa, and I am the owner and chief popcorn enthusiast behind Preposterous Gourmet Popcorn and Sodas located in Bridgewater, Virginia. My very first job in high school, or in life, actually was working in a gourmet popcorn store in the Midwest, and I loved everything about it, and I said, one day, I want to own my own gourmet popcorn company. Agriculturally, there's a lot of corn grown here, right? But there was no gourmet popcorn offerings, which is what I had grown up with in the Midwest. So I really wanted to bring that flavor to the valley, and I wanted to do it using locally sourced kernels. By having my business here, not only do I bring a unique offering, but I'm also supporting another business. We have about 15 flavors, um, and we're always adding more. <laughs> so I came to Harrisonburg, Virginia for my career out of grad school, which was working at JMU for 15 years. I hire primarily JMU students and really try to actively engage in, in all aspects of the community as much as I can. Our community is diverse, but I would also say not to assume that just because you see a particular population that they're a monolith. Populations are different and have different experiences and experience the valley very differently. Soy Fernanda Núñez Carvajal y el nombre de mi negocio es Doña Fer Grocery Store. Yo soy originaria de México, del estado de Guerrero, 30 años. Este mes cumplí 30 años en este mes. Lo que me inspiró a abrir el negocio es lo que me inspiró a venir a Estados Unidos, buscando nuevas oportunidades y mejorando, buscando una nueva forma de trabajo. Nosotros somos Yemiu. Mi esposo trabaja allá por más de 10 años. Mis dos hijos son graduados de Yemiu. Y tengo Elizabeth que va a ir a Yemiu. So, somos Yemiu. <risa> Ahora tenemos la tortilla fresca, caliente, hecha cada día. Estamos promoviendo y enseñando lo que otras comidas, otras frutas y comidas de, de otros países internacionales. Y, Mucha gente viene y prueba alguna cosa por primera vez. Los productos vienen de México, Centroamérica, de Perú, de Chile, de varios lugares. De, y de aquí, de Estados Unidos, y locales. Un poco de todo. 
I'm Tyler Jones. I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm currently a senior at James Madison University. I'm the current president for the Black Student Alliance and the vice polemark for the New Lambda chapter of Kappa Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And I have the pleasure of being the vice president for the Intercultural Green Council here at James Madison University. What I appreciate about the diversity in the local Harrisonburg community is that it's a wider range of businesses. It ranges from restaurants to art galleries to food, as well as, you know, get in touch with other cultures as well. So I am a loyal customer of Milagros. I love their pupusas. And then, um, as well, I have been going to Hope, the Eritrean and Ethiopian restaurant. I really had a, um, really a knack for wanting a taste of home, kind of. So then, and with Milagros and with other businesses as well, I was able to find that where I couldn't on the campus at JMU. My name is Mikey Riesenberg. I am the owner and executive chef of Mashita. I was born in Seoul, South Korea, and I was adopted into a family here in the Valley. I attended Turner Ashby High School for my high school education and attended Blue Ridge Community College for an associate's degree and transferred into JMU for a Bachelor's of Arts in History. I've always been fascinated by food. Food has always been a very integral part of my family and my core values. So many people enjoy our Korean uh, menu, but then also we have such a loyal following of people that just love our specials. We like to incorporate those Southern elements into our cooking. And um, we like to use the Korean elements to kind of augment those flavors more into the thematic leaning that we are now. Everyone eats, and everyone eats multiple times a day, so by incorporating something new and adventurous, it's one of the fastest ways to have someone appreciate an element of that culture that they may not understand. We have such a strong small business community here. The JMU community helps support, the local community helps support, and it really keeps funds back in the community. It really is nice to be a part of all of this community. Hi, my name is Claudia Kay. I am the owner of Magnolias along with Chris Kay. We decided to open this business because we saw a need for something a little more, I wouldn't say trendy because trendy kind of comes and goes, but uh, the combination of taco and tequila seemed like, you know, all around a good combination for everyone. This is the college town and we wanted to kind of bring traditional taste with more of a modern twist. My mom actually helped me create the recipes. We created the, the food items and all. We just knew what we wanted the taste to be, but she's the one that actually created that for us. Anything with the onion and the garlic is our base for a lot of cooking in Mexico, especially in, for my mom. A lot of spices and things like that. We have a large base of student staff. So our staff is majority JMU students or local students. Um, I grew up in the area, so I'm actually really excited to provide jobs for the college students. Now, as we get further into, you know, varieties and accepting other cultures and foods, that a lot of people are more open to having spicier dishes on top of, you know, more complex tastes. My name is Brad Burrow. I'm the office administrator here at the co-op. Friendly City Food Co-op is a consumer-owned grocery store. People can buy a share and then they essentially own a part of the co-op. We definitely uh, do see a lot of, of different shoppers coming in, folks from all different walks of life, uh, whether they're here for the first time or repeat customers. Sometimes people just kind of are attracted to just what's going on here. Everyone is welcome is what we say. You know, it seems like, yeah, we always have a few JMU students uh, working here. Definitely a lot of our customers are JMU faculty and staff. Downtown is kind of where, where you sort of get a sense of the community. Uh, and we really like to be an active part in the community. Last we counted, it was about 30 to 35 percent of our products were, were from local producers within the valley. Pride ourselves on that and we, we do put a lot of focus on that. We feel like we can kind of ripple out uh, the effect that we have just from downtown here out into the valley. Hi, my name is Odette Rodriguez, and I am the Leticia and Javier Rodriguez daughters, and this is La Morena, our establishment. Family-owned restaurant, all of us kids were born here. 
Everything reflects Mexican dishes minus the pupusas because those are from Salvador, but everything else comes from a lot of like what my mom grew up eating and stuff. And then also what my dad, because they're from different parts of Mexico. So they eat it a little differently, same thing, but different spice here and there, so they collaborated. We have a lot of JMU students that do come in here, different clubs. My sister, she actually goes to JMU too, so some of her friends will come down here also and just eat as well. My mom wanted to do something with restaurants, something with food, and she wanted a food truck, but my dad had like a bigger vision of just establishing a restaurant, so that's how really it all got started. It was just her wanting to fulfill her dream of doing that, so that's how we got to here. You know, Harrisonburg is a very uh, compassionate community, a very welcoming community. I take pride because uh, I was born and raised here, um, and Harrisonburg has always been warm. Uh, but I take pride uh, that people love to, to be here, um, and it's a, it's a great place to live. We love our state university, JMU. You know, we need each other, um, and it's important that we have a strong relationship between the, the university and the community, and we do. JMU helps us, bring so many resources to us. Uh, we do partnerships together, projects together. We need JMU to keep our businesses thriving. We love each other well here. To learn more about the Harrisonburg community and our small businesses, visit the links below. We look forward to welcoming you.